Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the deluxe edition of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as well as the Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete Blu-ray. I've been wanting to do this for a while, I just received the game as well, so I decided to do them both together. So far the only Final Fantasy VII related media I've had was my PlayStation Portable game Crisis Score as well as the DVD version of the film but this one doesn't really have the extra scenes so it's going to be an upgrade on all fronts or let's get this out of the way first because I'm sure there's not going to be anything in here I just wanted to do this kind of like a ritual of Final Fantasy 7 I've already seen the film with extra scenes, of course. It is just a way for me to keep it in my collection. And I can also watch it on my PlayStation 5 and I have the Blu-ray. So, oh, that's what it looks like. This is more than what I expected I would get, actually. So this is the complete edition Blu-ray. And it looks like you have some sort of a cover art in, in itself as well. This is really cool. I didn't expect to get this. I thought it would just be like a blank white uh, sheet, but you get class drive and you get the same picture on the disc as well. So yeah, not much to say about this. It's a really, really good film. It adds a lot to the story. I love it. I It's kind of like a comfort watch for me because I, I started watching this in like 2004 or something. I was pretty young when I first watched this. Of course I didn't understand much but I, as I played the games I started to understand more and more and when you know more about the lore the film starts making more sense and Final Fantasy 7 universe is quite um, big at this point. There are lots of games. I think I have pretty much done everything. I played the original game played a Crisis Core on PSP. I finished it on PSP. I've watched cutscenes of... This smells a little bit weird. I watched cutscenes of Dirge of Cerberus. And are there any other media yet? I watched Advent Children. I haven't watched the anime adaptation, but I don't think it really adds anything extra. I watched cutscenes of the mobile game for the Turks. And I think that's pretty much all the content we have, but of course I've also finished the first game on PlayStation 4, then I played the Yuffie's DLC on PlayStation 5. I've just finished it a couple days ago to get myself to reacquaint with uh, the series. I've also watched the film. So this is what the box looks like. It says Deluxe Edition. This is the front. This is the right side of the box and this is the left side of the box and you get this at, at the back. I got the codes for uh, deluxe items in, in as an email from Amazon. I ordered this from Amazon UK and it cost me around 120 pounds to get this. Yeah, all the shipment and all the taxes was included as well. So let's open this bad boy up. It is not like a sleeve, it's not a cover sleeve, it's literally a box. And the feel of the box is very soft and uh, on the front you can see the kind of like a, the bulging letters and they are kind of in this colored hue font that you see some color in it. And that's what you get. So in this box you get the exclusive steelbook case. You get the reversible cover, mini soundtrack, and hardback art book. I'm really excited for, about this. This is the first time that I'm able to get it. Yeah, the mini soundtrack is in here. That's what it looks like. I'm definitely going to listen to it. In here, uh, you have the Japanese names for it, but they also have written the uh, English names. So you have the Grasslands, A New Journey Begins. Battle Edit, main team of Final Fantasy VII. A Farm Boy, On Our Way, by Sense of Calm. I guess this is the music that plays in the flashback scene. Follow the Black Robes, Mithril Mine, Mithril Golem, 
Fortified Metro Metropolis, this is in Junon. Caso del Sol, this is the fun in the sun. With Heavy Heart, Road to Coral. Uh, we, and we also have a battle edit for that. And we have Final Lap, Chocobo Cup, Final Lap. And we have Livestream. So it is nice to have that battle theme in there as well. It is very iconic. And this is also the first um, music CD that I got from uh, Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy music. It's amazing. Like I've been listening to One, Wing, One Winged Angel by the Black Mages. It is an amazing orchestrated piece. So you get the art piece next. Uh, there are some sort of like paper stuff on there, but yeah. Super, super uh, cool. The art of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And let's look at the pa pa paper quality looks amazing. So you get a lot of vivid colors. You have character art for Cloud. Cloud looks, looks a little different. Of course, he's supposed to look different because this game is only on PlayStation 5, I think. It comes in two CDs, so it has to be. I don't know if it is available for PlayStation 4. I honestly haven't checked, but the characters look incredible. You get Cat Sith. Funny that they only show Cat Sith uh, by itself and they don't show the Moogle, you know, that fat Moogle toy. I'm sure there are images with that as well. Yeah, I'm uh, more in love with Yuffie lately because I really love the DLC. I think the story in the DLC really uh, kind of made us feel closer to Yuffie. And this is Vincent Valentine. I heard that Vincent is going to appear in the game along with Sid, but you won't be able to control them. Also, Zach Fair is here. Very interesting. I'm really interested uh, to see how the story is going to change because obviously we see Zack Fair and if you play the original game Zack is not supposed to be there I mean he's there in the flashback cutscene but so you see alternative costumes or maybe these are not alternative and maybe they're going to Priscilla I think this girl was the girl with the dolphin you have Rhonda Billy I only remember the girl oh you have Mayor Copano so very cool side characters very cool I really like this you see Zack's father Zack's mother wow you see Chadley which was a new character and you have Elena and you also see, see Kisney so Kisney was a character in Crisis Core it was very surprising to see her also Elena is one of my favorites one of the lesser appreciated uh, Turk members you see some uh, character designs for the monsters you see some summon designs and overall this is a very comprehensive very beautiful very high quality uh, the unknown journey continues uh, very uh, yeah you also have this beautiful one very very beautiful very high quality I love it I'm going to look at it in more detail later on but I just want to show you guys a glimpse of it the next up uh, you get the special exclusive steel box this uh, looks beautiful I love it um, this is supposed to be a scene from crisis core I think but I haven't played the game I have played the demo and uh, the demo takes place in the calm no Nibelheim uh, flashback and it was beautiful I uh, it is very cool to see the scenes reimagined, the scenes that you played as a child, because I have played uh, Final Fantasy since my childhood, especially seven. It's not my first Final Fantasy. I definitely played other Final Fantasies as well, but uh, seven was the one that stuck with me. This is my favorite Final Fantasy out of all of them. I haven't played all. I played a good amount. So so far, I've obviously finished Final Fantasy sixteen. Uh, 15. I've finished Final Fantasy 12. I've just finished 10 last year and I finished 7. So these are the ones that I played. I played some like Crisis Core and also you know the CD as well but I'm not counting them. I'm just talking about the main titles. So let's see inside and let's see what it looks like. Wow that's amazing. 
So there are lots of uh, small intricate details that my pr uh, camera is not probably not going to pick up because I don't really have a very good quality camera. I try to make my uh, visuals as bright as possible, but yeah. I'm going to show you more detailed uh, captions and I'm sure it's going. the details are going to be visible there. What are these supposed to be? I have no idea. The writing is not really uh, easy to read. So yeah, that's amazing. I really like the backside as well. So that's a very, very cool addition. Then uh, you obviously get the main game as well. Final Fantasy VII. Wow, this is so cool to hold. Like, um, I'm not someone to get deluxe editions all the time. Uh, this is probably not my first deluxe edition. I have Siberia the World before and Persona 5 Royal deluxe editions. Well, maybe they're not real deluxe, I don't know. But this feels really uh, worthy. This says Defy Destiny together. Cloud and his uh, comrades escape the city of Midgard in pursuit of the fallen hero Sephiroth. As they travel across the world, they find themselves on a journey that will decide the fate of the planet. And the voiceovers are available in English, French, German, and Japanese. I wish I could play this in Japanese, but I really like to be able to hear what's going on. So I'm going to be uh, listening to this in English. And for subtitles, you have English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Japanese, Latin American Spanish, and Brazilian Portuguese available. The game comes in two discs, and it requires 160 gigabytes of space available. I already made that space available on my PlayStation 5. I mean, I had to delete Final Fantasy 16 from uh, my downloaded games in order to open up some space. I like to keep some games there. The reason that I was keeping 16 was because I wanted to play the DLCs, but of course um, I'm going to be quite busy with these games for a while because Persona 3 uh, Reload came out. I also got it as well and this came out. So I know I'm not going to be able to get to any other games before I finish these two. I'm really excited about them. Same with Persona 3 Reload. I haven't started playing it. I received Persona 3 uh, before. I got this, but I haven't started because I knew that at the end of February I was going to get uh, Final Fantasy and I wouldn't have had enough time to finish Persona 3 Reload. I've been playing through Hogwarts Legacy. The game is a little bit of a dud. I mean, I've been enjoying it. The story missions are good, but I'm someone who tries to do all, everything and get the platinum. So that kind of makes my journey a little bit uneventful. So, of course, I'm going to drop Hogwarts Legacy before I finish it, like uh, till I finish this. So you have uh, some advertisements. So seven CDs, one bonus. So original soundtrack pre-order now. You, you see some advertisement here as well. Advertisement here. Every crisis you have. I really love these sort of stuff, by the way. I love when companies put in advertisements about other games. Like I had one about Sue Coden, and you can really, it is like a capsule that is timeless. You know, you see what games are available. So every crisis is available. I don't know what evil, evil crisis is. Hmm. So you can pre-order the original soundtrack, which is coming soon, but I already have the soundtrack. So maybe this is in all of them, but I already have the original soundtrack. So you get a code to register your game to the Square Enix's website. Strangely enough, I've been doing that a lot. Like I do register my games. I have no idea why, but I do that anyways. Yeah, the codes for digital items were sent are sent to you uh, as an email. So that's what the inside looks like. So you have the first disk, which is a data disk. And the second disk is cloud. And this is a play disk. I remember getting Mortal Kombat 11 and my data disk and play disk were switched. 
I had to pl pl plug in the data list in order to play. So you have this reversible cover as well. Let me check what's on the reversible cover. In the reverse cover, it's more of a, like a plain design. If you want kind of like a unified look uh, for all of your games, you can do this. I know some people love to collect Final Fantasy uh, games and they all w would like them to look in a certain way. Um, as for me, I really like this cover. It has Zack, Sephiroth and Cloud on it. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to keep this instead. So yeah, that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to say goodbye now with all of my Final Fantasy VII content. I love this game so much. Like It's my fa favorite Final Fantasy. These as well. Yay, I'm so happy. Final Fantasy always delivers, you know? Except for Dirge of Cerberus. I didn't really like that. It was, it was too sluggish. But anyways, this is going to look beautiful on my case back there. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys in another video. Now I'm going to put this bad boy into my PlayStation 5 and wait till it downloads. Happy gaming sessions. Bye-bye.